Did you know that at one time, all the continents used to fit together like a giant puzzle? What lies beneath the Earth's surface? Today you will find answers to these questions and many others on the structure of the Earth. Structure is the way in which different parts are put together to make something. Earth is the only planet that has liquid water on its surface. Imagine Earth as a giant apple. We live on the thin, atomous peel, that's the crust. But beneath our feet lies a whole hidden world, made up of different layers, each with its own unique characteristics. We are going to take a journey down and explore the Earth's structure. The Earth is composed of three main layers, the crust, the mantle and the core. Each layer has its own properties and compositions. The crust is the solid outer part of Earth. The mantle is an area of hot molten rock beneath Earth's crust. Molten refers to something heated to a very high temperature so that it becomes liquid. The core is at the center of Earth. The core has two parts, the inner core and the outer core. Understanding the structure of the Earth provides insight into its geological processes and phenomena. Let's look at these layers on the Earth in more detail. The crust is important for life on Earth because it provides a stable platform for the continents, allowing for the development of land-based ecosystems. The crust is the outermost layer of the Earth and is composed primarily of solid rock. The crust is divided into two types, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. The continental crust is thicker and less dense compared to the oceanic crust. The ocean floors are mostly made up of the oceanic crust, while the continental crust makes up the continents. The ocean crust is thinner than the continental crust. The oceanic crust is usually less than 10 kilometers thick. The ocean crust is made of heavier rocks which are rich in magnesium and iron, for example basalt. The continental crust is usually about 30 kilometers thick. It is made up of rocks that are rich in silica such as granite. About 40% of Earth's surface is made of the continental crust. The ocean crust is generally much younger than the continental crust because it is continually being created by volcanoes that erupt on the ocean floor. The Earth's crust is very thin compared to the other layers of the Earth. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, which is the thickest layer of the Earth. The mantle is very hot around 2000 degrees Celsius to 3500 degrees Celsius. The mantle can be divided into two sections, the upper mantle and lower mantle. The mantle is made of hot, semi-solid rock and it can flow over long periods of time, resulting in what is known as mantle convection. Mantle convection, as we will see later, plays a crucial role in driving plate tectonics and other geological processes. The mantle contains silicate rocks rich in iron and magnesium. The outer core is a liquid layer composed mainly of iron and nickel. It lies beneath the mantle and surrounds the inner core. The movement of the outer core generates Earth's magnetic field. The innermost layer of the Earth is the inner core, which is solid and composed of iron and nickel. It is way hotter around 4000 degrees Celsius to 6000 degrees Celsius. It is basically a solid ball with a radius of about 1200 kilometers and about 70% of the size of the moon. Despite high temperatures, the inner core remains solid due to immense pressure. So, remember, beneath our Earth, there are many different layers. The outer layer is the crust which can be a continental crust or an oceanic crust. Below the crust we have the mantle which is sometimes divided into the upper mantle and the lower mantle. Below the mantle is the outer core then the inner core. You should learn this structure by heart, it is very easy to remember. The Earth's continents were once like pieces of a giant puzzle that fit together. Over millions of years, they slowly moved apart to where they are now. 
It's like a big story of how our world changed over a really long time. The Earth's crust is not a motionless structure but rather consists of several large and small pieces or slabs called tectonic plates. These plates float on liquid mantle under the Earth's crust. Tectonic plates interact with each other, causing various geological phenomena such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and mountain formation. The movement of these plates is driven by processes occurring in the Earth's interior, primarily mantle convection. Some plates are mostly ocean, others are mostly land, and others have both land and ocean on them. Tectonic plates are large, rigid pieces of the Earth's crust that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. They can be composed of both continental and oceanic crust. Major tectonic plates include the Pacific Plate, the North American Plate, the Eurasian Plate, the African Plate, the South American Plate, the Antarctic Plate, and the Indo-Australian Plate. Plate boundaries are areas where tectonic plates interact with each other. Tectonic plates are constantly moving and colliding with each other, resulting in geological activity such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountains. The movement of these plates is known as plate tectonics. There are three types of interactions on the plate boundaries. 1. In divergent boundaries plates move apart creating new crust. When plates move apart, they allow hot molten rock from the mantle to rise and form new crust, like the mid-ocean ridges. 2. In convergent boundaries, plates push together or collide, leading to mountain ranges such as the Himalayas. 3. Sliding boundaries, plates slide past each other horizontally, for example the San Andreas Fault. When tectonic plates slide past each other, they grind past each other, causing earthquakes. The tectonic plates move very slowly along the edges. These edges are called the plate margins or plate boundaries. Tectonic plates move at about the same speed that your fingernails grow, that's almost 3 centimeters a year. In geological time that is very fast. Over millions of years, Tectonic plate movements have a huge impact on Earth's surface, shaping continents, mountains, and even causing earthquakes and volcanoes. Scientists think that heat from Earth's core causes circular movements in the mantle called convection currents. These convection currents in the mantle slowly move the plates that float on top of the mantle. Heat from Earth's core creates convection currents in the mantle. When hot liquid mantle gets close to surface it cools down. The cooler material begins to sink back into the deeper parts of the mantle where it's heated and rises up again. This results in a circular movement in the mantle. This circular movement is a kind of current that moves plates that float on top of the mantle. Plate movements play a crucial role in shaping the Earth's surface and influencing geological events. Understanding the structure of the Earth and the movement of its crust provides a foundation for understanding various geological processes and phenomena that shape our planet's surface and impact life on Earth. The moving plates create and destroy Earth's crust. In some places new crust is made as liquid rock bubbles up from the mantle. New crust is made when a volcano erupts. Hot lava from the volcano cools down to form solid rock. We see this new crust appearing as volcanoes. In other places parts of the crust are destroyed and melt back into the mantle. So, moving tectonic plates both create and destroy the earth crust. We have come to the end of our class for today. Please email your comments and suggestions. And also please subscribe so that you do not miss out on new videos uploaded weekly. Should you wish to get the notes on this class please email us your request or put your email in the comment section. Before we go, please attempt these questions before the answers pop up.
you can pause the video as you go. Otherwise, that's all for today and keep well.